This is the Tractor Channel with your Lauren Birch. I am going to be showing you my tractor collection. For those of you transporting from my old channel, the Tractor Boy 2727 channel, um, you guys uh, should subscribe to this channel because this channel is going to be just like my other one, just a lot better because my old one just wasn't very good. So now I'm going to show you my farm oil collection. I have a 1944 Farmall H with Sears and Roebuck loader that I took the loader arms off and right now I am getting it painted because I have had it for almost one year. So I'm going to show you a few of my Farmall tractors that I have that are just like that are just 1 through 16th scale and 1 through 32nd scale. My regular tractors a real size life size one that I drive all the time but it's getting painted right now. So, without further ado, the Farmall Tractor Collection video. <coughs> Here we go. First up is a 1952 Farmall H. Mine is a 44. And this is just a toy model, so it's not like the real thing. But it is a very um, nice Precision Key Series farm all tractor. It has a number HM220 McCormick Deering. This is McCormick Deering, so no, it's not a 1952. It's a 1943. Yeah, 43. Um, but it's got an HM220 McCormick Deering, two row planter on it. This is one of my most valuable tractors that cost around $130. On to the next one. Next up we have another Farmall H tractor that is slowly moving its way up the ramp because these old tractors are slow. This is a 19... Um, this is one, this is the 1952, um, H tractor. This is the one that's straight McCormick Farmall. The other one was McCormick Deering. This one's not as nice. It's one of my first tractors, but still, still, I play with it sometimes or just get them out to look at. And it is a very sturdy tractor, as I should call it. On to my next one. The next one we have is the largest of the Pharma models that were row crop. The next one is a 1952 Pharma M. This tractor is the biggest one that they made, coming out with a 19 or a 39 uh, horsepower tractor, and it is the longest production tractor that they have made. They have made the most versions of this tractor. It is the most powerful. Offered in distillate, uh, diesel, uh, LP gas in later models, um, super diesel, and a super diesel with um, a torque amplifier. I'm going to keep going. That is a 1952 Farm All M. The next tractor that we have is A the largest wheeled tractor that International had made at the time it is the WD9 this tractor was offered only in this style offered with a diesel offered a super and is a great prairie tractor it can pull to a, a 5 to a 6 bottom plow normally was like the matchup for the Case LA or was the matchup for a John Deere R. Those are the tractors that it competed against. And in the later years of production, a Minneapolis Moline GB. <clears throat> the next tractor that I will be showing is one of my very, very well, one of my own, the only. Uh, one through thirty-second model tractors. 
It is the the McCormick Farmall 350. This tractor is offered with many options. It would be a full dresser. This one is. Whoops. It would be full dresser. This one is because it has all the options that you could have asked for on a Farmall tractor. And this is moderately failing. This tractor was offered with many, many options. I mean, this tractor has many, many, many accessories, including a barge wagon, a three bottom plow it could pull. It was the counterpart of the Farmall M that was bigger. So, that is the 350 Farmall tractor. The next tractor that we have is an even bigger tractor. It is my only FFA edition tractor. And it has a cup holder with a with one of the shows I go to. So if you live around here, ch chime in and say that you go to the show because it is one of the few shows that I go to because I there's not very many shows in Michigan. I mean there's a lot, but they're all down south. This tractor is the if I can raise the loader or put it down the 1959 Farmall 450 with FFA edition so I will and it's got a McCormick Farmall loader on it this tractor was in production for I th from I think 1957 to 1959 and this is a FFA edition if you guys can see right there that's the FFA sticker here let me zoom in with the camera let me zoom in with it FFA edition So, yep, this tractor is one of my favorites. It's got the Farmall Fast Hitch. It's got many other accessories with it that I just don't have hooked up to it. So, and it came with belt pulley. So, on to my next tractor. Let me move this up a little. The next tractor that is a Farmall 460 with a IH number if I can put that up with a IH number 2MH corn picker it is slowly making its way up because this thing is like giant This is the Pharma 460. Offered in diesel, came with many implements, could pull four bottom plow, came in LP gas too. This is just the gas version. I have another tractor, very similar to this one, that I will show you if I can get it off. And last but not least, for of all our tractors, the tractor waiting to be put up is the Give me a drum roll please. Dun 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 da da The 460 utility with grass hog and weights. This tractor was one that I just bought a little while ago. It is um got weights on the rear. It has got um, a bush hog attached to it that is a standard IH bush hog. It is one of the pull behind types. This 460 is a utility that could have come in diesel, but this one didn't. This tractor could have been, um, it had a live PTO, like 
anything from the Super MTA and Super M Up came with. The it had a comfort comfort option seat which it has on it. And this tractor is one of got um one of the few tractors that is utility that is this big that has um turf tires on it. It is a very nice tractor. So I'm without further ado, that was my last tractor. I hope you guys watch this and I hope that the people that are coming from um my other channel are gonna be um here soon because I told them to come. So if you're here, tell me you're here. I'll make notice of you in another video. Thanks for watching guys. The Farmo Farm Tractor um series tractor collection. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.